Having been in the software development industry since way before Moses came down with floppy drives, I remember the evolution from assembly language to C to C++ and dot 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 all the way to using modern Python. And the fun thing about being an independent thinker is sometimes your thinking independence allows you to come to the conclusion that, you know, we really should be doing better with our technology than simply allowing our user interfaces to become spyware hosts, listening posts for the government, and in the worst case, places where foreign hackers can hold our entire companies for billions or millions of dollars worth of ransomware. And as a obviously unnamed set of vendors continue to force us to junk otherwise completely usable and serviceable hardware into the ocean simply because they need to make more money or give us the latest and greatest feature. The curious truth is that most modern corporations from healthcare to finance are still relying on infinitely more testable textual user interfaces and therefore generational programs that have been written once and are still running decades later. Not only are the software developers far more affordable, but even the internet runs on text friends. So a textual user interface is something we should all possibly be looking at, certainly in Python. And as I looked at the awesome TUI interface capabilities, I came across the awesome TUIs list, which I put in my Kofi blog. And looking specifically for Python opportunities, I went ahead and cloned the entire Pi CUI or console user interface, which is the same thing as a textual interface application, which uses curses, but more importantly, has a handful of wonderful examples that we can try on our Python console user interfaces or textual user interface programs. Here's a simple to do list that I think everyone could use, as well as many others, in the Pi CUI application that's available for us to install anywhere on the planet from the cheese shop. Thanks for watching, and please, if you like the video, do not like it, and do not subscribe to this channel. You're only going to encourage me, because I got bills to pay, and this doesn't pay very well. And to tell you the truth, I have a lot better things to do than to be inspired enough to start creating more videos for you. If you'd like to learn more and hone your professional programming skills for Python, feel free to take a look at the free and open PyQuest project over on GitHub. And if you're interested in in-depth discussion, as well as source codes to demonstrate each and every one of the first 100 beginner, intermediate, and advanced concepts, feel free to take a look at the book on Amazon.